and let me wrap this thing up and address my comments on Hulk Hogan, or rather Terry Bollea. Would it be okay if we used his legal name? I get such a beating for my own legal name, I'm just wondering if it would be okay to use his legal name in discussing him here for a couple minutes. It's funny how I am so easily and ignorantly mocked and ridiculed for having my legal name uh, that I've had since 1993 and have used for my family surname, uh, how easily I am mocked when people don't know the deeper, more meaningful story behind taking the name. But Hogan is never subject to any heat whatsoever for first using his entertainment name in a reality television show about his own family and then second superficially loaning it to his own talentless children so they can hawk their own entertainment careers. I just... <laughs> you gotta love the wrestling business, especially the pundits. It's just the Kool-Aid never runs out. Let me say this. First of all, it's not about the kids. You can't hold the kids responsible for the horrible parenting they have received. Um, well, let me be clear about that. You, you can't up to a certain age. And ironically, they are entering into that age where they are going to be held fully accountable. <laughs> for the horrible parenting they have received. But it's not about the kids. I think it's despicable that a prestigious Father of the Year organization compromise the ideals of what most people think it would mean to be the Father of the Year. They compromise those ideals so low to think that Terry Bollea is worthy of being Father of the Year. It, uh, they should be ashamed of themselves. I don't know how long the organization has been around, but if it's been around for a long time and there are founders that are now, you know, long dead, they got to be turning over in their graves. And the fact that the people running the organization today would decide to bestow the award upon him Again, it's a direct result of the state of our culture today. But it takes more than loving your children and being a celebrity yourself and spoiling them by buying everything they whine for. It takes more than those things to be a great father, let alone the father of the year. It's not enough that others feel like you're the man. You also have to think and act like a man yourself and uh, I don't see that going on in Terry Bollea at all not in the way he has decided to live his life and decided to take his own family on this journey down this destructive path it just I think it's despicable that they would decide that he would be father of the year let me also address a persistent idea out there that I am somehow bitter that I did not stay in sports entertainment, I'm not in sports entertainment today, or that I have not pursued an entertainment career otherwise like Terry has. First of all, let me say what I've said many times before. I am not in sports entertainment because I choose not to be in sports entertainment. I alone choose not to be in it. Every time I left, it was I who chose not to be in it. And I never called the McMahons to go back to it. They always called me to return to it. I'm not bitter about the choices I made to create and perform The Ultimate Warrior or what I did to have success in my sports entertainment career. Neither am I bitter about the choices I made to leave it behind and go on and do other things in my life. About an entertainment career otherwise, let me say that uh, I have been approached about doing the kind of programming that's out there today, and I'm not interested in doing a reality show 
with a bunch of whores, dwarfs, and drug addicts. And neither am I interested in doing a reality show of my own family where the primary motive by the people that produce and create these things is to show what is the most silliest, most superficial, and most base about what you are as a human being. I have greater integrity and I have more respect for myself and my family than ever doing something like that. So that's how I feel about all that. Now let me tell you about what's going to be going on from here on out. It has been a long time since I last corresponded with you, other than this video cast and a couple blurbs I've made over the last couple of weeks. you got to go clear back to July 3rd, just before I appeared on Hannity and Combs. Although I have taken long unannounced breaks in the 11 years Warrior Web has been around, I would admit that this break, this long absence I took, was the least expected because of what was going on at the time. And I didn't actually decide that I was going to take the break until immediately following my appearance on the show. I'm not going to go into detail here about why I decided to break, take the break that I did. And I never intended that it was going to be this long. It's just summer turned into fall, fall turned into other things, and there were a couple other things that happened. Anyway, I cover the details of why I took the break I did in a video cast I sit down and cut a couple weeks after my appearance on the program. I also covered those unique perspectives I mentioned at my blog before I went on the show that I was going to bring up on the show that I didn't get a chance to. Those perspectives are still unique. The material is still relevant. There's a lot of entertaining stuff on that video cast. It runs at a pretty good chunk of time. There's almost a couple hours worth of stuff. So I'm going to get that stuff up in the next few days. Um, I also kept notes while paying attention to those things that were interesting to me personally and professionally. It's just been a habit of mine for a long time to always have a pad of paper and a, a pen or a pencil. So I went digging around in that stuff, took some of the more interesting stuff that's happened over the last six or seven months and cut a few video casts on that. I'll get those up over the next week or so. Or spread them out. I'm not just going to throw everything up there because everything I do is classic. It's really great. And uh, I don't want anybody out there to just be overwhelmed. <laughs> Many of you have written me and uh, asked me what I think about the presidential race and the candidates that have been having debates. I paid as much. <laughs> I paid a much, as much attention as I possibly can stand. I paid more attention to what Republicans and conservatives are saying about the candidates, and I think you're going to be interested to hear what I have to say. So we'll be talking about that. I'll continue to cover what's going on in the daily news, brief snippets and stuff like that. I'll have short and long video cast. Maybe just stop in, turn on the camera, and go for it. I have an elementary setup in my office right now. I have the room to do something greater and I'm working on something like that. I'm not going to talk about it anymore unless it comes together. Um, and But the thing I'm most enthusiastic about starting and interested in is beginning a discussion of the interest and goals that I've gone on to pursue and I'm still pursuing and have long talked about in the commentary I put up at Warrior Web I'm really excited about getting started on that stuff. So there's a lot that's going to be going on, and um, I guess we're, we're back in business here. <laughs> Till next time, go out and own it. Go out and own it.